All right, hello all of my goblin farmers. Barnacle here again, and welcome to episode two of our Elm Creek modded farm. So when we finished last time, we just finished some bailing contracts. And <clears throat> let's see, I think we made some money from that. Did we collect them all? We did. We just have one plowing contract left. And oh, we didn't collect this one, it looks like. So we can go ahead and collect that because we're done with that. And if we go up to the bank, we can see that we have somewhere earned absolutely, I don't, oh yeah, 7,244 ducats for doing our contracts. So obviously we're still in a lot of debt. <clears throat> But we now have $56,549. And I think I agreed that we were going to agreed that we were going to turn up our time, right? So, uh, no, not time. Is that what we're doing? Oh no, that's the same one. This one, time scale. We're going to do, we're working four days. Oh, we can't do four. I guess we'll just do three, three time scale. Should we switch it to three days? I don't know. We'll just go with three. And we'll change it if we need to. All right, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. We have some plowing that we need to do. So let's grab the McCormick. I think he'll be big enough to plow our fields. Uh, we don't need to attach, but we do need to turn the engine on. So we gotta plow our fields and then we have to run the, uh, oh, I'm going to use this. Uh, what does this side talk up on? Yeah, the tines are going that way, so. Since they are, that. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look up the plow. Let's fold it up. Remember to unmute my mic when the dogs start barking. If they ever do. That's what happens when you live on a pet menagerie. Uh, 
I always want to hold it instead of lower it. Looks a little wide there. Just trying to stay where the old one was. Seriously, the whole time it's gonna happen. I feel like the only time I can record a video in this house is like at 2 o'clock in the morning. Maybe I should just do no commentary videos. Just do gameplay, no commentary. Seriously, this place. All right, so we're gonna finish up this farm or this field, and then we're gonna do the other two. And I will probably just speed those up. I'll do the headlands, and then I'll speed up the insides. So we get a little uh, uh, in cab action. See how bad we do. Wish you could tell easier. I don't see too wide there. I guess what we need is GPS. I wonder if I set up GPS, that'll work better for in cab. Not really sure necessarily how to do that actually, but. I could always just overlap but then that would be a waste of time wouldn't it I bet GPS will help us on the bigger two fields This piece we missed real quick. Rahia. How do we set that up? GPS. Uh, that would probably be in the tractor. Uh, guided steering is alt. Alt. See? Oh, 
see. Yeah, nothing appears to be working. Turn on crop center. Oh, All right, well, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> that's not working. Everybody's just making uh, 20 minute let's play videos. What do you see in 20 minutes? I can't even plow this whole field in 20 minutes. Practically. I feel I'm much better at uh, live streams. Because I enjoy talking the whole time and explaining things. I don't know if I can make any short videos. Maybe I'll make short tutorial videos. But making a short let's play video just seems boring. If you want to watch farming, then you want to watch farming. You don't want to just watch me plow one row and then fast forward the rest, do you? I think that's the problem with using keyboard and I can't oh I'm not on the thing right left top sometimes I think there's a disconnect between the keyboard and using a controller all right we'll plow this guy So I'm thinking maybe I don't even have GPS activated on this tracker. Like you have to 
purchase that, I think. And I don't remember if I did. I thought I did it for all the tractors I bought. But maybe it's not set up for this particular tractor, which is a possibility. And I have no idea how to check that other than going in the uh, workshop, I think. So we will check that after we're done plowing all these fields. So with that in mind, we will go back to doing some more plow. Enjoy the show. Alright, so we're just gonna finish this up. And then that's all we need to do for our three fields, other than do uh, the field scans to determine what type of soil we have underneath. So we'll do those in tomorrow's episode. But in the rest of today's episode, let's run up real quick and finish our contract, which is not on that screen. It's on this screen. So field 41, Jimmy Caldwell, he asked us to come plow his little uh, field. That is 4.84 acres. And he's on field 41, which is where? Right across the street. So that's a bonus. No bark. <laughs> Let's get on to plowing. Lower. Shouldn't make fields, right? Oh, turn it on. Shouldn't make fields if we're doing a contract. We are on field 41, right? Yep. Okay. We should be good. So I will go ahead and plow this. And I will just speed up time on this instead of cutting out the time so we can watch what's happening with old Barnacle here working on Jimmy Caldwell's farm. And it ended. Okay. So we do have create create fields on so that's not what we wanted to do but um, look 
Okay, that was fun. I thought that only worked on your own fields. Uh, strange, but now I know, I guess. That's better. All right, I'll see you guys at the end. Just about finished on this field. Make a turn. Looks like we're gonna miss some of it. Maybe. Turn guy and steering back on. Lower the implement. Oh, we might actually. Ah, oh, no, yeah, we missed some. But it should be enough, probably, for to uh, finish the contract. I bet. If not, we'll just run real quick up the top. And we'll probably just do that because, you know, my OCB would go crazy. Yeah, see, we're already done with the contract. We don't even need to finish this part of the field. But we will do it anyway because that's what we do. That's what we do here. We finish everything. So we come to an end, come to the end. Gonna go ahead and just turn around. Cut this in. Uh, I get actually doesn't matter now since I turned off I turned off create field, so we should be fine. But I'll just run along the edge. This field has rocks in it. So I plow this field. This field showed rocks. I wonder what's the difference on the fields that we just plowed over there on our own farm. Or if it's because they were painted first and then we plowed it for the first time. So, not really sure about that. Have to do some testing. See if we can't figure that out. But, as they say, that is all of that. So the next part is to do the scans of the field. And I think it's five o'clock. I don't know how long I want to make this episode. Cause I'm, I think the longer episodes you guys don't like watching, but then to me, I feel like I'm the kind of person who likes to watch longer episodes, right? Because I want to see the actual farming and fielding uh, farming stuff going on. So I don't know if I should just do let's plays for this series and then just do videos of like the tutorials and the mods and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do. Actually, I came over here and this is not even where I want to be because I want to get the sensor. Oh yeah. And we finished our contract. So let's go ahead and get paid for that. At least since I kind of wasted that money on um, uh, collect that contract. We have a $72 harvesting contract. What? $72? Ugh. I forgot I changed the payouts. So that's the difference. $234 uh, plowing job there. So that's going to suck for us because remember I changed the uh, all the amounts. I lowered us 20% on rewards and 
least costs I increased on that. So that's going to be a problem for us. I saved the game real quick. And the cat walked around the keyboard. So probably mess some stuff up. But I want to come over here and get the sensor. Because I don't think I've ever used precision farming before. So there's that. I mean, with the scanner, I saw a pro scanner thingy, which is right here. Does it go in the back or the front? It doesn't even matter. I wonder if I could have done it while I was plowing. That would be interesting. Uh, let's just go try this field over here. And if the video is too long, I will just, we'll do this one field and then I will just do the rest off camera. So I know it has a range. So let's see, we have to unfold it like everything, lower it. Take the soil sample. Do I have to? Jeez. So we have to take a sample each time? So I guess we need to fill up this area. Take a sample. And if we scan in, they're actually doing that. And then I put it in a little sample cup down there. And then now we can see that that area that we just sampled is good to go. It looks like we'll need a few of them. I guess we'll just drive around and take samples. Try to stay on the edge. Maybe we need a higher worker to do this. Can we do auto sampling? That would be good. Can't hire any workers. We won't be hiring any workers. Because can't afford it. Our poor farm here is definitely a poor farm. Oh, get it back up so we can get this spot right there. I like how it's filling up all the trays. this guy and then we are just going to auto send in the samples right so we're not gonna actually I don't even know what that's called but we'll figure that out in a second that's not oh I love how it fills up all the dirt actually take the soil sample. Now I have to do one extra one. I gotta make it square instead of a circle.
All right, so we took all those samples. And then now we can send soil samples for analysis. The soil samples are now sent to the lab for analysis. You will see results on the soil type map soon. Okay. So that's it. I will go ahead and do the rest of our five fields. And... Um, yeah, I will call it a day here. So this will be the end of today's video. I really thank you guys. Oh, yeah. See our... Oh, maybe that means it's on there now. So nine minus nine hundred dollars in soil samples analyzed. So let's see if it's on our map. Oh yeah, see we got it right here. So it looks like we have sandy loam and loam on our field. Oh, and a little bit of loamy sand in the corner there. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh. So, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. That's probably the best way to help my channel, especially in the beginning. Uh, just comment, like, and subscribe uh, as you see fit. Remember, though, if you uh, dislike the video, make sure you push the thumbs down button twice. It's a little bit of an extra requirement at YouTube that you have to... Uh, push that thumbs down button twice but you know to push the thumbs up button you only have to do it once so that seems like a lot easier so you might want to go ahead and consider doing that instead all right on a serious note guys uh thanks for watching and i'll see you next time take care